Hello all. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial. Um, I received this card in the mail. Cute little Halloween card from one of my girlfriends. And it reminded me of the way that um, I used to color all the time, do my water coloring. The image is actually embossed and then it was easier for her to color inside. I'll just show you how this card works. Um, I had done one like this for convention swaps, but it just slides up. And she had a cute little piece of gum in here. But what I want to go over today is one of my old favorites, which was embossing and then coloring inside the embossing. So let's get to it. First of all, I was trying to choose my colors for my card. And I have this new yummy paper, which is the Ski Slope out of the Mini. You're going to want to get this. There's six different patterns in here, double-sided, and you get two sheets of each. Really cute designs. Using the Kiwi Kiss, Chocolate Chip, and the Baja Breeze. Isn't that pretty? I really like that snowflake one. So I'm going to be using these for my Christmas cards. So you'll probably be seeing this paper quite a bit over the next couple of weeks as I get started with my Christmas cards. The stamp set that I chose to use was the Holy Trip Chick, and I went with the Three Kings. So, I'm starting off with Whisper White Paper. And as you know, one of my favorites are these craft spots. It allows me to have all the colors without having to invest in the large pads for the crafts. So I'm going to go ahead and ink up my image with the chocolate chip because that was one of the colors in our paper. I also like the craft spots because they're easier to ink up an image that's large like this. You can just dab around on it. Just stamp it down and press. Get my nice image. Because I stamped in the chocolate chip, I want that color to stay. So I'm going to use my clear embossing powder over it. Just tap off the excess. And Kay Warner had showed how to do this on her blog, how to use plastic containers to store it. And there's less waste. So let's go ahead and emboss. Now the great thing about embossing our image first is that now we get those nice raised lines which will ensure that we stay within our area when we're coloring. And today I'm going to be using an aqua painter to color with. And I'm going to be using the chocolate chip that was in the paper, the Kiwi Kiss, and the Riding Hood Red. So let's get started. I've already put a dab of re-inker in my Riding Hood Red. So I'm just going to pick up some of the re-inker color and go straight into the part of the image I want to color. Once I'm done with my image, coloring it in, I want to cut it out. In this case, what I used was uh, the Cuddle Bug, not, I'm sorry, the Nestability's Long Rectangles. So I cut out my image using that to get something that was thin and long. And here's my finished project. So you can see the cut image using the Nestability's, and then you can see that I 
use the corresponding nest abilities, the long rectangle scallop, in order to highlight it. And then I had two panels that use the ski slope, slope paper. It's very rich, as you can see. I really especially love this piece with the Riding Hood Red and the Baja Breeze. And then on the top, I use the Hostess Level 1 set words, which is called Best Yet for a Very Merry Christmas to You. And I took, I cut that out with my large scallops oval. I'm sorry, large oval punch. And then layered it with another piece of chocolate chip punched in the large oval to kind of highlight it. So that's my card today, showing you how to watercolor after embossing the image, which helps to keep you inside your lines. Hope you enjoyed it. And remember, you can always visit me at www.mylifesart.com. I have pictures of other projects there as well. I'm also going to be listing some stamp sets, stamp sets that I have for sale. So be sure to check that out over the next coming weeks. Thanks.